Hey guys, what is going on? This is going to be part two of the actual re restoration process here in my uh, Honda Prelude. Uh, well, not restoration. Let's just put it that way. We're fixing a lot of the parts that were bad, and I'm going to bring it back up to its normal glory. You guys have already seen the intro video. This is going to be literally like a, a weekly thing. So on top of uh, this coming week, this weekend, we're actually doing the tint. I'm actually dropping it off here at the stereo shop, and we're going to be rewiring the entire uh, stereo system because the stereo wires are pretty crappy. I'll show you here in a second here. Uh, they just got over the years have gone bad they rub against each other and it came loose and they basically came apart now on top of my, my poor cd player my pioneer premier cd player which doesn't even make pioneer premier anymore by the way um uh, the, the won't the motor face won't come down anymore it uh, the remote control doesn't work anymore uh just half the times it skips to the satellite stations and i don't want it to and i'm like what the heck is going on so we're replacing with a badass new pioneer nex 4200 doubled in t uh, touch screen thing so i'll let you see how bad things are in here I mean, look at this poor thing. I mean, everything's coming off here from the years of just switching it. Uh, it I can't motorize it down anymore. It, it locks, see? It won't go all the way down. It's supposed to go all the way down so you can actually reach it. So what'll happen is, it just, see, listen to it. The motor's messed up in it. So that's getting redone here. So it's, it's the only thing it works out now is the radio and the satellite. I can't put music in there. It won't connect to anything anymore. It's just, it's shot. You know what I mean? It's just gone. On top of that, guys, I wanna show you, I'll, I'll take it out real quick here. Let me go ahead and turn the car off. We don't need it on. And I want to show you guys the trunk. All right, guys, I've never, ever showed you the trunk in my car before. So you're going to see something that I normally, I guess I don't show that much of, but uh, because it's like, what the heck? It's not part of the detailing process anyways. But I already taken apart all the like the stuff in here, the guys, the box that uh, holds it, and then the framework for it for my amplifiers. But I really want to show you how bad this is. Now, I'm going to bring the camera around real quick. All right, so you can see everything real quick. This is just a faceplate, that's all it is. We pulled it off so we could figure out exactly what we needed, by the way. Uh, I run uh, two 10-inch JL Audio W3s in the backs, and I have the old PPI Precision Power Power Class amps in here that run everything because I have a full JL Audio setup. So it was custom made, so we pulled out everything, so don't look, worry about like, man, it looks like crap. It's because, of course, it's all pulled apart. But what happened is, over the time, the wires, can you see them through here? There's wires here. Check that out. Just the time and rubbing against stuff and everything just came apart. Look at how bad that is. So the amps, real the amps aren't sending to be able to send the power to the subwoofers uh, over here. The amp that runs the mids and highs and the front, uh, they are very loose. So I keep losing the speakers. And these are the things that are going to get redone today. And uh, these are what we're going to do. What so what I'm doing is I'm showing you what it looks like now. We're actually going to be having a whole little tiny amp rack rebuilt here. Uh, new board. We're going to be using birch wood instead of just the regular. Uh, board that's in there right now that's that can warp from water and stuff and we're actually going to be uh rebuilding it there rewiring up so we have full speaker sound quality again with a new head unit so there we go this is part one of that video at the end now what we'll do is we'll see you in a few minutes here when i go back and actually drop it off here tonight and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like then so i'll see you then guys thanks for watching Hey guys, welcome back. Time for the final review of showing you exactly how the head unit system and the whole stereo system has been uh, redesigned, how it's actually been fixed. Everything was gone through. It cost me a little over $1,000 to do this. Um, I bought a brand new head, head unit, and I'll show you in a second. It's the Pioneer uh, AVH 4200 NEX. It's their flagship uh, head unit here. So it can play DVDs, SD cards, you can connect to your Apple iPhone, it connects to your Android, all that fun stuff, typical stuff, right? Um, um, I had to uh, rewire the entire system. The system was completely trashed, as you guys saw in the previous part of the video, uh, just gone. They said it was actually wired pretty bad and pretty crappy, so it's actually been redone now. Um, what else did I do to it? Uh, all the boards have been redone. They actually cut out all new boards and re uh, new face plates and new cover plates for the amplifiers. But everything has been done. Actually, uh, the same day they actually did my 5% strip across the top here. Remember in my last part, they hadn't done the front yet because they like to wait a week before that happens. And uh, so basically everything is good to go, right? So now we are good to go. The speakers are bumping again. All four speakers are great. You put a movie in here, let me tell you, it sounds epic with the surround sound. I mean, you just can't get any better than that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and start with the head unit and we'll move on from there. Let's see what we got here, guys. All right. I hope you can hear this. Love it. I love the fact that we can watch movies at the exact same time. This is, of course, one of the best movies out there. 
Everybody knows it, guys, don't you? Don't act like you don't know it. Too fast, too furious, right? But see, we can watch movies the entire time. I had the bypass put in here, so even if I'm not in park and I'm driving down the highway, we can actually watch the videos. It's just a little $15 uh, wire. So as you can see, that's been done. Uh, I can switch out to here. I can select everything I want. See all the different, this is all touchscreen, by the way, too. So just giving you guys a heads up of how I want it. Let's say I want to go to HD radio, I can do Pandora, I have it connected to my phone. Can you see the microphone up here? So I can actually make hands-free calls like the newer cars have in it. Um, I can do all kinds of just toys with this stuff. All right. So I got like HD radio. You'll actually see the actual artist pop up here. Let's go ahead and get out of there. I can go to SD card. I have the SD card in there right now, just leaving you heads up. Alright, I just wanted to pop this SD card in there to try it, then we drop down the menu again. We go to, uh, let's see, Sirius XM. Like I said, everything's hands-free even though it doesn't have a remote. So, everything sounds really good, I can, I can change everything, I've already been messing with everything. So you have the drop-down radio, I like 80s by the way, if you guys didn't know. And switch everything I want to my phone, like Pandora, disc, all that stuff, right? So let's go ahead and bring it around back, okay, guys? I'll leave it on Sirius XM here. Let's put it on some back stuff. Let's take you out back, guys. Let's show you what the trunk looks like now, okay? Let's go. All right, now you see the way it looks, guys? It's all been redone. All new boards, the whole boards that were sitting in have been redone. Of course, I got JL Audio W3s in the back here. I have a 500 amp uh, PPI amp that I have it running off of. So everything's been redone. All new wards, full note done. The wiring is all redone. Everything has been done. So we're all good to go again. And the car is looking amazing. I just put that Masterson's wax on there. And it looks absolutely gorgeous now. So let me go ahead and turn it down a little bit and I'll update you on what's going on next. Mute. All right, guys, so the next thing that is in the restoration project is this weekend, I go down to the West Palm Beach area to uh, pick up the manual transmission. The whole swap has been pulled off. He contacted me. He said everything's good to go. You have the new dash, the whole nine yards, a new mirror because the mirror was just getting pretty crappy. I don't know. He said it was actual prelude problem. You see him, how it peels back? They said that's just a normal um, uh, issue with all the Honda Preludes, and he actually has one in good condition, so he pulled it off for me. Uh, like I said, the whole manual transmission swap is, uh, we'll pick it up this weekend. I paid $650 for it, and uh, then I just have to have it installed by one of the guys up here in the Orlando area, and he said he's gonna install it for me for about $500, he'll install it for me. So I said, that's fine, we can set it up here in the next few weeks to month, I don't care, because obviously this works now. It just uh, slips a little bit in second gear, but you know, at least gets the job done, right? So right now, that is the updated status on the way everything is going here, guys. I hope you're liking the way things are going so far. If you do like it, of course, you know, hit me that thumbs up button. Uh, so I see you'll see you maybe uh, next week I'll, or the week after. I'll show you actually going down to Palm Beach, meeting the guys, picking up all the stuff. And then I'll do a whole like install video where they're actually installing and tearing the whole flipping car apart. And then of course uh, I will be going, it's sometime closer to this winter is when we're actually going to send it in to have the rust cut out and the paint done. That'll be the final thing. And then I'm going to slap some wheels on, just some clean wheels, not too expensive wheels, maybe something like $250 a piece. Not like my Z that has really, really expensive wheels on it because I just want to make this look clean. I don't want to go crazy with it. So that's your update of Operation Prelude Restoration. It's doing a little bit at a time, but hey, it's costing a lot of money and I don't want to go broke over this. I just want to make it look good bring it back to the way it originally was so guys i know you all like this series i hope you all like the new thing i'm loving this new head unit i'll show it to you one more time i mean check it out it actually shows the album cover and stuff like that and every song that's being played so good stuff guys thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions let me know i run a full jl audio setup in here if you all didn't know the only thing i don't run the jl audio is precision power amps that i've had since i was in high school they literally are that high of quality amp at least they were back in the 90s so no issues at all as you got to see thanks so much for watching and i will see you all at the very next restoration video take care y'all